Hi guys, this is architect Sarita from SK Design Studio and I am back with my new episode. This particular flat is also in Lodha Bilayar Jogeshwari. We have earlier posted a similar vlog on the similar configuration of same building Lodha Bilayar but this is in another another wing. So you will enjoy this vlog as well because the design is completely different. We have tried to make it in such a way that there is not much similarity in both the both of the flats. Now this client has connected to us through social media and this client is based out of Dubai and this is his second home. Uh, he visits he, uh, here sometimes. Now the brief given to us about this particular flat was he wanted to have very simple and beautiful and cozy home. And here also the second brief given to us was he or she rather the ma'am uh, she didn't want much of the woody colors. So all the pastel colors and plain colors are used with some wooden element, not much. So this is a 3 BHK configuration. The, the brief, uh, the color palette was very, very specific. So we specialized into making the flats in personalized uh, uh, manner. We design in such a way that the personality of the client reflects in the flat. So the brief given was the living they wanted to have particularly into the blue color, the kitchen completely white, the master bedroom in purple color and their daughter's room is in yellow, yellow, yellow theme. So here we, we face some challenges as in how to make it in such a way that though they, these are pop-up color which are very very bright it should not look very uh, loud. So um, I will explain you the whole process, the material palette and everything and do let us know in comment box what do you think about this particular vlog. So let's start. So friends, if you have not watched my earlier video on Luda Belair, I will share the link. Please, please, please do watch that video as well and then see the difference, our similarity in this particular plan. So let's get started. So this is the entrance lobby and uh, here earlier like you will be surprised to know that there was, a, there was a small room given by the builder. I don't know what, what purpose they have given that room in exactly in the center. So we have removed that room and we have given the this screen here so that this the living room and the entrance lobby gets divided and uh, this is the sitting space and then this is the shoe rack so uh, the sh if you see the details of the shoe rack there is this small space given so that you can just remove your shoes here in case of emergency and then this these are just the shutter the shelves given here inside as well even there there is the storage and this is a nice very beautiful uh, mirror paneling with indirect lighting is given not very heavy lighting is given here this is just a very cozy lighting given now you must be wondering that is this shoe rack enough for uh, the family because nowadays there is lot of lot and lot of requirement about the shoes so you will surprise to see that there is one more hidden shoe rack here. So here this was the space given by the builder and this was just a niche. So we thought to use it in such a way that it will be double up. Now above there was the space for the DB. So we have given this complete mirror paneling in such a way that the DB also gets uh, uh, hidden and at the same time there is this shoe rack below this. Yeah, so when I open this, there is this shoe rack and when I am opening this, there is this DB. So from outside also we have given some shelves here it, uh, in such a way that if you have some small things which you want to uh, keep, you have the space here. The space will be approximately 5 to 6 inches here and maybe the space will be 8 inches here. So the even it same in this way. The, this is also a storage and then this is also a DB. So when I'm opening this, this is there is inside there is this DB and we have hidden it in such a way that uh, it should not be seen. Now the the paneling if you see this is a mirror paneling but then on, on the mirror as well we have given some of these uh, pattern. So this pattern is given in the mirror only. So we have not divided the shutter in three, three or four different parts. The mirror itself, the shutter is complete, but it 
when you are looking from outside you will feel that this is these are all different shutters like this is different shutter this is different shutter but it is not like that we also think about the practicality so in, instead of giving small small different shutters we have given one single shutter so hi friends just we have covered the entrance lobby now let's move in into the living room so this is the the screen which we have customized the screen is with the duco paint and this is the fluted panel glass if you see the details this is customized nowadays the this material is very much in everywhere we use this kind of a fluted glass and uh, this is the crockery unit now again uh, even this client is staying in dubai most of the time still they had the similar requirement of having lots and lots of storage so here we have given this complete unit for the storage like even above there is this storage here this is the storage uh, below this this these are the drawers given three drawers and below this also this is the shutter now we have the speciality of giving we try to give maximum storage as handleless storage so you might see in my design all of my design mostly i give the c groove detail wherein there are not handles the groove is also in such a way that it is not hurt and uh, the detailing is very seamless so this is called a c groove detail and uh, the material used here is, is laminate again this is a satin finish laminate even this is the laminate uh, so only the wooden color used here is this side a little bit of border this side and little bit of wooden rafters here now in this particular flat we thought of giving nice round uh, table so this is this table also we customized completely so we we sourced this uh, marble and then we have customized the the chairs we have customized the chair we have customized the the base also so all everything is customized here now as soon as you enter i wanted to give something which is very very beautiful and at the same time elegant so i i have not preferred to give lot of paneling but if you see this beautiful piece of marble this is uh, this is an italian marble and uh, and this is really really exotic marble we have uh, sourced it from one of the marble shops and the cost of this marble is around 2 lakhs rupees so the design if you see itself it is uh, it is completely different and even by using one simple marble here the complete look of the dining area has got enhanced so yeah this here we have used this marble now again if you see above to highlight this particular marble we have given these directional lights so you always remember friends if you want to use something which is very very exotic you should try to highlight it with this kind of directional light now there is a mistake which lot of people do for in case of directional light the directional light you have to fix it in around 15 inches or 1 1.6 inches from the wall so that the direction of that particular uh, light falls exactly on the piece that you want to highlight so if you see there the distance we have maintained and this particular uh, marble has completely given that beautiful look so about this dining table these are the these are the hanging light this is again customized which is matching to the dining table and this is the tv unit now again uh, here this tv unit is in l shape like this so <clears throat> as per the brief given by the client they wanted to have something to have their uh, their show pieces so we have given that piece there and then this this particular piece is the acrylic so this is again a marble finish acrylic we we have given and uh, you must be wondering why these tea patties are given these are called by the way these are called tea patties now this is also part of a design but more than that uh, this particular any particular marble uh, sorry any particular acrylic sheet or any particular laminate that comes in particular sizes so the size is around 4 feet or 4 uh, feet by 8 uh, feet so in that case what happens like if there is this joint in between two sheets like for example the length of this particular sheet is more than 4 feet 
so we wanted to have vertical figures only so to avoid those joints directly we have added these kind of t patties so golden t patties are added here nice indirect lighting has been given here in this side and below these are all drawers and these are rafters which are very much in nowadays and yeah they have seen the, we have tried not to copy much of the things from that particular flat but this client wanted few things and they like the, the few things from the previous flat which the link of that uh, video is also given here so uh, like they wanted to have hidden doors so we have tried to use those particular element in this this flat as well so this is this becomes the live the the tv unit area that side there is this beautiful balcony facing the uh, the the swimming pool area and then this is nice big l-shaped sofa now as i said the given the brief given by the client was they wanted to have nice blue color theme so we have given them this particular <coughs> concept so they like this concept very much so we customize now this is the combination of the wallpaper rafters paint and there is also a hidden door here now you must be wondering where is this hidden door so here if i push like this this is the entrance to the other bedroom and when i'm closing here this is this is the door now there is no handle given for this particular door only a small lock that is called a dead lock that is given and the, this door works on the door closer here the combination the material used is these are pastel color rafters again uh, and uh, the laminate has been matched this is satin finish laminate not a regular laminate this is little bit exotic laminate the color has been matched to this and after that this is the paint now we have matched the paint and the laminate in such a way that from outside you will not realize there is this difference and the look of that seamless wall comes here so from the particular angle like from back side if you see you will see the complete long big wall so because of these small details the room looks suddenly bigger so imagine friends if there is sudden break here the door is going inside or the there is color difference here or uh, uh, something like we are putting some different paneling at the same time with lot of colors different materials lot of materials so people sometimes tend to spend a lot they feel that if i am using lot of material if i am using lot of uh, exotic uh, this thing um, mirrors or all the all the materials on the earth uh, your uh, your flat looks richer so that's not the case you have to use minimal a uh, material and in such a way that with those material uh, minimum material as well your flat looks bigger seamless and then that looks more richer and elegant look i hope i am i have uh, convince you my point well now here uh, this blue color again we have re reflected it in uh, the curtains as well so very minimalistic color we have used we have not used lot of blue color so this particular blue color we have just used in the cushions and on the curtains now curtains also if you see we have uh, given complete full paneling full paneling curtain like from the ceiling so that also gives that rich look and uh, the same color we have given in the dining chair as well so this particular theme again we have taken from that particular flat because even in that video i have explained that you should design the dining table chair in such a way that even if you want to use uh, this chair for the guest when they come we can just take it like this and then it's a part of the living area so sometimes like if you put these two chair here like this and you make this table of a three seater table it's a complete setup again so with 
the combination is designed in such a way that it goes with the dining area as well. It like it works as the feature chair for the living room as well. And when I am keeping this chair here, your hall is big, so everything we have tried to manage here. And uh, yeah, this is about the living room. Now talking about the ceiling, I don't use lots of ups and downs in the ceiling. That's not my style. All these are cob lights and uh, these are color changing, three in one lights, simple one ceiling with one indirect light. So the indirect light is given so that it gives a very beautiful mood lighting. So only one indirect light had been given, otherwise all the ceiling is completely plain. Only one chandelier is given between the two fans and there is one chandelier above the dining area. So, yeah, I think this is it about the living area. Uh, now I will explain you about the passage area and uh, you will definitely like uh, even this passage area because we have designed this passage area in very aesthetic, ma aesthetic manner as well as we have given a lot of storage there. So let's watch the passage area. So from the living area, this is the passage area. This is a 3 BHK uh, home. So that side there is one bedroom that is their daughter's bedroom. And uh, this is the passage. This door is for the kitchen. This door is for their other room, which is a spare room. And that's door, that door is for the master bedroom. Now here, exactly in front of the living room there was this toilet door again so many people do not like to show the door as toilet door so what we have done is we have designed this paneling in such a way that there is this door and you will not even come to know that there is this door so again the same laminate which we have used which is pastel english color laminate that we have continued using here so the, on this door as well as on this particular door so now here if you see this is the profile light this profile light is uh, starting from the wall going to the ceiling and then coming down there so it gives a particular uh, design element as well as it gives the light also now here <clears throat> this again everywhere everyone wants lot of storage so i have given this lock storage in lot of my designs so here as well if you see we have carved out the lock storage the lock storage is carved out in such a way that this is particular here this is the trap door you can see the detail there is a small keyhole which you open it down you can have the storage on both the sides like the storage can be used for keeping your extra luggage or your whatever extra things you have stored that can be kept here now these are all uh, these are all surface lights we have used so that the light doesn't go inside your loft area so we have used nice cylindrical surface lights on this side and uh, the, the wall again is given very seamless look like this is again the same plain laminate uh, sorry this this is the same uh, paint which we have used there and the frame has been given all the doors have we have taken it flush uh, so that it gives that again a longer look of the wall so also the second purpose was like if you are standing there and if you see from the corner this complete wall looks like a paneling and it look also gives the effect of the extended tv unit paneling so that was also the purpose so we have given the same tea patties here on the wall and the tea these are the paneling and again there is some nice mirror paneling used to give that wow factor and then this is the door to enter in the master bedroom so let's go and check the master bedroom after that i will show you a very bright kitchen don't forget to miss that just come inside we will see the master bedroom so now i'll be showing you the master bedroom the master bedroom of this particular flat is very very small the size is around 10 feet by 9 feet and we have to fit everything all the furniture in this particular size and to make sure that it doesn't look cluttered and the second challenge was to use that particular purple color they had in their mind 
Now I will show you how beautifully we have used their uh, choice of color and um, at the same time make sure that the color doesn't look very loud. So let's go inside. Now this is the combination that we have given. We have uh, sourced a very beautiful uh, wallpaper and we have customized this particular wallpaper which is in uh, that lilac or purple shade and then the same has been used in the in this headboard. We faced a lot of challenge to get this kind of a color in headboard as well because this color is not at all common. So we sourced few shops and then we got that particular shade. Now in this particular shade we have to make sure that it, it is not very dark because if we go very loud or very dark it, it may look all of a sudden the overall look of the, the theme may get very very dull. So we have uh, sourced this uh, color which is very fresh at the same time little bold also and uh, the color we have repeated in the curtains, the wallpaper and the headboard. Second uh, advantage of this uh, theme is also that uh, the using the pop-up color in such a way is also that tomorrow. If you feel that I am bored with this particular theme, you just change your wallpaper, you just change your headboard and you change your curtain the color of the your theme uh, is changed so maybe after five years it's not uh, much uh, much expense also and you can completely change the theme of your uh, room now the other so since this is very loud color the other color palette which we have used here is very very subtle and very plain so we have used all these are english uh, not exactly beige color but um, but this is little grayish beige type of uh, satin finish laminate here again and these are all plain laminate these are all wardrobes so here again there is one challenge there was one challenge that we had this four shutter wardrobe now on this one shutter this is the dressing uh, this is the mirror so i didn't want to have any handle on this so we have given handle only on one shutter in such a way that if you are opening this then a second time you can open this the other shutter so this also creates a very nice design detail here and Again, this is a TV panel. So uh, uh, the same acrylic which we have used, which is in marble shape, we have used it here as well. And this is the door for the toilet. So again, this is the hidden door. The design and paneling is matched in such a way that when it is closed, this it completely gives that seamless look. So again, because of the small areas or small rooms, with all these small details like taking the the rafters from ceiling to the bottom, taking the the marble also from ceiling to the bottom and taking the curtains from ceiling to the bottom, it all adds to that large effect. So imagine if you are cutting the paneling till the 7 feet high and suddenly the look of that particular wall gets cut. Because of this small detailing, all this looks very very big and massive. So even though the overall room uh, is very small, the use of the color is and use of the detailing is in such a way that it gives a very very minimalistic at the same time grand effect. So this is the small storage we have given for the TV unit near the TV unit as per the requirement of the client of course. So this is a combination of open and closed shelf. Now this is the closed storage which is on push to open buttons like this. This is handleless so if I am pushing it it gets opened and uh, this is the uh, space for the artifacts which is matching with that lilac or purple color. So here as I said earlier as well, the, this particular bedroom was very very small. So we didn't find much of a space to carve out the side table. So here in this paneling, we have given a folding side table. I will show you how. So this is here, if you see, this is a particularly a folding side table. So if I am opening it like this, the side table is gets open and the curve here, the side table is 
uh, given a curve here so that while walking one shouldn't get hurt so in sk design studio we make sure to take care of all these small details as well so now the most interesting part we will be going to see the kitchen and i'll be explaining you the material as well and the detailing of the kitchen so let's go and uh, see the kitchen area so now we are in the kitchen area the the platform given by the builder was completely different i will show you the before pick of that as well but the requirement since the requirement of the client was to have a completely white kitchen we have change the kitchen platform on both the sides this is called quartz again so this is a quartz platform and uh, these are all moroccan tiles one by one moroccan tiles so little bit of uh, blue color shade has been given here as well which is matching to the living room uh, style and uh, this is all acrylic and it is uh, modular the kitchen is completely modular so on the bottom if you see these are all shutters this is again the detail of the handle if you see this is acrylic handle so there is this even the handle here given is in white acrylic so this is a shutter here uh, this is called uh, tandem so uh, this is all big tandem units the cap weight capacity of this tandem unit is uh, 50 kg or 70 kg so that you can store all your big dabbas uh, here like atta or dal chawal whatever it is more than 5 kg you can store in this particular tandem area so make sure to have bigger uh, weight capacity tandem units here below this uh, hob this is the uh, cutlery cutlery cup saucer again cup saucer and thali after that we have given this pull out unit and after the pull out again this is a tandem and on the end again this is the shutter so again this is a space for the cylinder uh, in case of emergency that is also given because uh, that was again a requirement for the client so on both the end we have given two shutters exactly below the hob area and the chimney which is aligned everything is aligned here we have given the crockery cup saucer and uh, this is the chimney 90 centimeter chimney has been carved out here and they wanted to have a big nice hob so five burner hob has been given on the both side this this is the crockery unit uh, again to to keep all your cup saucers and uh, dishes daily dishes you can keep it here or your snacks can also be stored on this side again this is a shutter no handle is given here the the shutter is taken down by half inch so that there is no need of handle on both the sides so on both sides it is symmetrical design so two shutters with the fluted glass and profile shutter as i said the fluted glass is quite in nowadays so we have given the fluted glass shutter here and on the other side this is the fridge and the combination is completely white and little bit of black so appliances and this black uh, crockery shutters are given in black otherwise everything is in white uh, this is the other pa uh, parallel kitchen platform and uh, these are two wicker baskets uh, on this side again this is the full shutter is given on both the sides symmetrical design so below the sink again these are two shutters and uh, two tandem units and and again the shutters are being given and in the end this is the wicker basket now in case if you don't have the built-in oven or built-in microwave in that case what you can do is you can just carve out a space for your open microwave unit like this you can we can take it little bit down so that it is easy to operate if it is till this point till here it is not very easy to take anything uh, out from this area but if it is on this particular height it is very easy to take uh, the uh, the vessel from this microwave unit so we have carved out this open micro space for the open microwave unit again a nice niche has been given here so you can 
keep all your decorative uh, whatever tea coffee whatever masalas you want to show off or some landscaping or uh, some anything you can put it here to to uh, break that uh break that monotonous uh, uh, look and effect so this is a nice niche has been given on the both side these are shutters and even here this is a shutter so this is again a push to open shutter uh, the detail of the acrylic if you see from close it has got little bit of sparkle so it is giving a very nice and beautiful uh, effect so see the detailing here it's acrylic with that sparkle effect and uh, the ceiling the storage has been carved out till the ceiling so full storage is given here in between uh, the main these first layer of the shutter and the above uh, shutter there is again a handle which is in acrylic finish so normally you would have seen the handles are in either ss finish or golden or rose gold but here the same finish of acrylic we have given in the handle as well so you can see this detailing here the shutter are the same acrylic finish and on the outside uh, this is the dry area dry balcony given by the builder so we have kept this uh, washing machine here and then the space for drying the clothes normally we give day lights or a uh, little bit of yellow light in kitchen as well so, uh, to give that effect but since this is white kitchen we have given all white lights in the main ceiling and the ceiling is given plain so lot of storage has been carved out and at the same time because of this color because of the white kitchen we have used the acrylic which is very very less maintenance any color any material apart from the acrylic requires little bit more maintenance so with this acrylic we have tried to solve the issue of the maintenance as well so this is about the kitchen now let's go and see the daughter's room so uh, this is the second bedroom which is their daughter's bedroom so let's go and check the daughter's bedroom come in so the color palette for this particular bedroom is yellow and gray and since this is their daughter's bedroom we have given just a single bed here the bed size is 4 feet by 6 feet 6 inches the single bed is given here so that maximum open space can be seen and uh, one side we have given this uh, dressing table and uh, this is again uh, open space has been given now on this side uh, you can see just a paneling now this is a wooden paneling but on the ceiling we have matched it with the same color we have not used the wooden paneling there we have just matched the similar color in the ceiling so that it looks again the seamless now here the folding table has been carved out like this so in case you want to study uh, near the near the window you just have to open it and then it it is a folding table and on this side if you see this is the so, this is the dresser a very nice designer uh, mirror is carved out here with a nice hanging light on this side again this uh, chair has also been customized as per the design and the same fabric which we have used in the headboard we have used for this particular chair as well and on this this room is very very simple and very nice english beige color uh, has been given here the molding pattern is given in this particular room so the same molding pattern has been carved out has been given on the door as well this is the entrance door this is the bathroom door we have changed the laminate of all the doors and matched it with the theme of the room so from inside it is matching with the room theme and from outside it is matching with the living room and beside this this is again a wardrobe so we have customized this wardrobe handles as well it is as per the like it is little bit kiddish not uh, very kiddish but yeah little designer uh, element has been given here so round uh, round wooden handles are carved out this is an open space for our medals or for books uh, anything right now we have kept some 
accessories out here and uh, this is the wardrobe. Even the storage is given till the top even that is a wardrobe and that is the storage I'm sorry and even that is the storage given. So the yellow color is given in this particular room only along the pop up color has also been added to the wardrobe. So this yellow color is not that lemon yellow this is that mustard yellow color. So while choosing if the color are little different while choosing these colors you you need to see that you get that right shade of that particular color otherwise the overall room or overall um, theme can uh, can look very very dull and boring that's the study table so when it is closed as i said that is a folding study table and when it is closed the panel looks seamless and on that side it's a very beautiful view you, you can see the the swimming pool uh, by sitting here so this is the last bedroom let's go and check out so again as per the requirement of the client the client didn't want to have any furniture here they want to keep this as open as possible so we have but they had the requirement of uh, having a big wardrobe here and uh, so we have just used this designer laminate sheet because there was not much furniture we wanted to highlight it in such a way that it, it itself it should look like a uh, some design element so if you see in other rooms we have given the plain wardrobe because uh, it was uh, the other rooms were having a lot of design elements so your eye if uh, i would have given this kind of wardrobe in the other room as well your there should not there would not be having any focal point so remember always remember if there is there should be only one focal point in one particular room if you highlight all the other all the rooms all the walls it doesn't look nice it looks always looks cluttered so here we have used this designer um, the designer laminate uh, panel, uh, laminates here for the wardrobe shutters and these are the sliding shutters which are soft close and the handles are inbuilt handles so you don't have to have special handles for this and these are the t putties and the corner has been cut just to give that again a designer touch and a very subtle nice wallpaper has been given on this wall which is uh, matching to the wardrobe colors and the rest of the color theme is again similar to what we have given in the living room and um, that's all about the vlog of my latest video which is in Loda Belair. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. Thank you so much for liking all my videos, giving me so much love and uh, do let me know your comments, your thought about this particular flag. So do not forget to subscribe and like. See you soon in the next vlog.